folks, Ariel over here at Fine Miss. It has been a long time since I did a cooking video and this is a super quick one. This is how to make your own vanilla. It's going to take me longer to explain what I'm doing than it would to do it. I could make a new batch of vanilla here in about 10 seconds. So what I've got here is a batch that I made, I think the date on there is three years ago. Um, you can see how much I've used <laughs> in the past three years, but this is super dark. It probably just to the camera looks like, um, you know, it's black in here, but you can kind of see, if I can make them stick out there, you can kind of see the tops of vanilla beans sticking out on the top of the glass. Anyway, that is the color it gets after soaking for a while. This is what it looked like when it started, just totally clear. So how you make extracts of a whole lot of things is, uh, some things extract well in water, think like herbal teas and such that you might make. Um, some things extract well in oils, and some things extract well in alcohol. The very complicated, complex flavors of vanilla seem to extract very well in alcohol. Some people use glycerin if you do not want to have any alcohol in the extract. Now if you bake and cook you probably realize that when you use vanilla in your cookies or cakes or whatever you're using like a teaspoon in there and usually the product is then being baked or something like that and so the alcohol itself is actually evaporating. So if you if you don't want to drink, if you're not a drinker and that's a concern, used in baked goods you're still not going to actually be consuming the alcohol. It's just a way to get the flavor out of the beans. That may be uh, something some of you care about or not. Anyway, so I've got this full brand new bottle of vodka. You can use any kind you want. You also don't have to make this big of a batch. Um, I think the proportions generally recommended are like two to three beans. What did they say on here? One ounce of beans um, for every eight ounces of extract. So you could do just, you know, a little bit in a little jar. I find this easier. I do bake and cook a lot. Come here, baby. Come here. We're not going outside right now. I'm talking. Good boy. I don't know if you guys can see Burley down here on the floor. Anyway, I bake and cook a lot, plus this is fun to give as gifts. So I'm going to just make another full bottle while I'm at it, but I don't think I can quite get all of these beans. The proportions work out about to what I mentioned if you were just going to do a single cup, because this was a package of, I think, 25 beans. They smell just heavenly. Yeah, 25 beans in this bag. Um, so I'm going to do this full thing full and then I'll have plenty of time to sit. But I need to make just a little bit of space in here so that I can do that. Well, I don't know where my empty jar is. I was going to put it in. I should have got that ahead of time. So for now, it's just going to pour into this glass. And I don't think I need to remove very much. Just enough that I have air space in there. And you could, of course, pour this into another bottle as well. I find it just as easy to leave in there. <clears throat> now I am going to, I do try to pick some kind of vodka brand that is in a glass bottle because I don't really want this to sit in plastic forever. So I'm just going to drop my beans in here whole. They kind of have a little hook on the end, so you have to give it a little bit of a uh, assistance there with the skinny neck at some point. If you read a lot of other people's um, recipes, they'll often tell you to split the beans in half. That seems to just be so that it um, speeds up the ability of the alcohol to extract it, which is fine. I am not in a particular hurry here. As you can see, I'm not about to run out of my current extract, so I am in no rush at all. So because it's way easier, I'm just going to drop whole beans in, which is exactly how I made this one. That's how I've made all the batches I've ever made, because I'm kind of lazy like that, and why bother cutting beans in half if I don't need to? So, super, super easy, and these... Again, that, that scent is just wonderful. If you didn't know, a vanilla bean comes, it's the, the fruit produced from a particular or orchid, a vanilla orchid. Um, so I did have to buy these because vanilla orchids do not grow in Wyoming. Um, anyway, so looks like I guessed just about right on the amount of liquid I took out. So really, that's all there is to it. Now I'm just going to cap it. Then you want to put it somewhere cool and dark. Let's see if we can show the camera. You can see all the beans in there and how clear that is compared to one that has been sitting for three years. That you can see some bean bits sticking out the top there, but that's about it. Um, somewhere cool and dark, like simply the back of the cupboard, which is where these normally reside. And um, again, you'll see people who say, you know, every day pull it out and give it a shake. 
that again is mostly to help it extract faster. Like if you're in a hurry, you don't have any and you want some in 30 days, Actually, I think I don't think anyone would recommend you know using it before kind of two months. So hurry is a relative term. I am in no hurry at all. Like I'm going to stick this in the back of the cupboard, and I'm probably not even going to think about it for another year. So I am not going to pull it out every day and shake it, though I could. It's just going to have plenty of time to extract. It's going to be sitting in there, and when I want more, or I want to make up some little bottles as gifts or something like that, it will be all ready to go for me. And in the meantime, this will be toward the front of the cupboard, and I continue to use out of this bottle. So that is all there is to making your own vanilla extract. Now, if you go to the store and buy real vanilla extract, it's often sold in very, very tiny little bottles, um, and as you've probably noticed, fairly expensive. Or you can bar buy artificial vanilla extract, which is made out of things like tar and other pleasant chemicals to try to imitate the flavor of a vanilla bean because they can be kind of expensive. Again, I can't grow my own and they don't grow in my area, so this is something I need to buy from someone else. For uh, They were fairly inexpensive the year I made this batch, and then the last couple years, this is why I haven't done this video, um, they've been super expensive. I guess there was I don't know if either crop failures or just not good harvest, so they were very, very expensive. This year they seem to be less expensive again for now. So I thought it was a good time, right now specifically, to start another batch. So I will have some for a while. Um, I'll give you a link down below to where I got mine, if that's helpful. Um, they're de generally cheaper if you buy a bulk bag of something at 25 than if you go to your grocery store and buy them in uh, packs of one or two beans, like many things. Um, and so that's all there is to it. That was... I think maybe an $11 bottle of vodka, and I think a $28 bag of vanilla beans. So for, what does that make? Uh, for about 40 bucks, I have that much vodka, I mean, that much vanilla extract, instead of buying the little tiny, tiny, um, you know, containers of it for 6, 8, 10, 12, 16, depending on the size in your local grocery store, um, dollars a piece. So that's a very efficient way to do it, and that's all there is to it. This guy normally lives in this cupboard here, right behind the jar of salt, and because I know that I don't plan to touch this thing for a long time, it's just going to go in the back of that cupboard. A couple other housekeeping things. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Uh, I know a whole lot of new people have subscribed in the last little bit, and that is cool. Uh, I am Ariel. I live here in my little tiny house where I can, if I don't knock my lamp over, almost touch both walls at the same time. It's a tiny house on wheels. I live off-grid in the Wyoming mountains, and the videos here are all kinds of stuff about being in a tiny house, being off-grid, living in a cold area, the wildlife that surrounds me, cooking, uh, once the snow piles that are outside, it's about 20 degrees outside right now, Fahrenheit, so below freezing, um, and there's still snow piles this tall out there. Um, if one, Once they melt, then there's gardening info. It's just everything about my life here. What I try to share is the things that I've done or tried, what works well for me, what doesn't. Again, that is all personal to me. Um, and my puppy dog Burley. Dance. Oh, come on. The whole way. Dance. Oh, yes. That way you can say hi to the camera. Um, I try to share, you know, just my experiences, and hopefully some of it is helpful to some of you guys if you're trying to do any similar things in your life, or maybe you just find it interesting and entertaining, I don't know. But I just try to show what works for me and what doesn't, and then you can either say, well, I'm in a situation that's very much the same, so if that works well for Ariel, it probably would for me. Or you can say my situation and climate is totally different, so if that works good for her, I should probably never try that. Or whatever. So that's what's going on around here. Another thing I wanted to note is you, if, if you are one of the many longtime followers here, um, you know that over the past year and a half now, I guess approaching two years, there has not been very many new videos at all. I have been looking very actively for a new home for hosting videos to where I can avoid running into all the current problems with censorship and having stuff deleted and banned for not following community standards and that kind of thing. So I think I have found one. I have tried a lot of different things. Some just the, the logistics on the, the 
you know, production end from someone uploading a video um, just don't work very well. Some don't work very well on the viewer end. Some still have censorship. Anyway, so the one I am very excited about that I've been using for a while now, and if you've been following me on MeWe, you're probably aware of this. Uh, MeWe is like Facebook without censorship. You should come join us there. There's posts, oh, not quite every day because some days I just get really busy, but almost every day for the past couple years. I've just, you know, pictures of fun life around here. So if that's your thing, um, come follow us there. It'll be linked down below this video as well. But anyway, you're probably aware that I am also posting all of my videos on Odyssey. That's spelled like this right here. Odyssey.com. It's another video sharing platform. Just think YouTube without uh, censorship. So um, all videos in the future, to the best of my knowledge, for until something else changes in the world again, are going to be on there. They will either be there at the exact same time they're on YouTube or before they're on YouTube. And if YouTube deletes them, they will still be there. So if you want to see them first and fastest and newest, go to Odyssey. Now, just be aware, it is still a growing platform. If you used YouTube back in the days when it was growing, you know that occasionally something loaded slow or froze up or those kinds of things. There are still some, sometimes things play just fine. Uh, for days on end for me, and then sometimes I go to try to watch something and it freezes up and I just have to come back later or find it somewhere else. So there are still some growing pains, um, so be patient with that. If you try to watch something there and, and it doesn't work and it's still on YouTube, feel free to go watch it there. Um, but that is, if you, if you follow Finest Channel on there, you will see everything either at the same time or I think generally before everyone else. So if that interests you, come follow me there. And then that is also the place, even if you don't care about it the rest of the time, whenever YouTube totally deletes my channel and it doesn't exist there anymore, that will be a place to come find me. Or the, the blog, um, which is also linked down below. And if you want to be able to get email updates, you can sign up for that, or you can just check the blog as you please, whatever. So those are in... Uh, after my hiatus here, where there's been a few posts and shares and stuff, there's there's been lots of activity on MeWe and the blog, actually, but if you have only followed stuff in the video realm, that is where to find it. That's where to find more information if you are interested, and there is going to be some very big and exciting news in the next little bit. I hope to be back to, over this next year, doing a lot more regular videos, a lot of content, and I have a lot of exciting projects that I want to share with you guys. So, to summarize all that, if you want to follow all that, uh, if you want to see regular daily posts and just fun stuff and pictures of life around here, uh, follow us on MeWe. If you want to see videos first and fastest, uh, follow us on Odyssey. And if you don't care about any of that, there will be videos shared here until that becomes impossible for me. So, that is the news from around here. I probably need to go fill the bird feeders, and then I've got some other projects I need to get done. So that is it for this morning. And yes, I know it looks warm and cozy in here, and the stove right beside me is cooking, but it is well below freezing outside, and there is lots of snow. So maybe I'll get that into the next video. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Hi folks, Ariel over here. Thanks for spending some of your valuable time watching these videos. Hopefully you found something beautiful, educational, interesting, peaceful, relaxing, or useful while you are here. If so, find more videos here, subscribe so you don't miss any updates, and if you like what you found here, feel free to like and share away so that others can benefit as well. You all have a wonderful day.